know that Syrians are, are all Christians. And uh, as I instructed my colleagues over the years and said, yes, there are, they are, uh, in fact, the oldest Christians in the world. Uh, and it was, it was like the opening of these giant doors because they had no idea uh, who and what the Assyrians are. Uh, there are places in the world that it, many times it looks to me like God has abandoned. And I think that in these extraordinarily tough times, not only here for us in our own country, but we can't compare, we cannot compare for an instant what is happening here, which has affected everyone. And it really has affected everyone in some way, shape, or form. But the suffering of uh, the extension of our own family, our own people. We can never, ever compare that with whatever the shortcomings may be in our own economy. And really, no one else is going to raise their voice and help them uh, as we can and we should. We do it because of the pride instilled in us by our parents and our grandparents. We all know that. We all know that this runs very deep. It goes to the core of our being. One of the joys tonight was to hear so many of you come up and speak to me so lovingly in Assyrian. And it was as if my mother and father were speaking to me or my grandparents. Because um, I do understand everything that you say. In a couple of minutes, you have to So you have to, uh, you have to forgive me. But uh, we know that this runs very deep. Uh, in us, uh, because they were the ones that taught us about our roots, with all of their pride, with all of their pride. They told us who they came from. They always knew and valued family, that great, great sense of pride. It wasn't about money. It wasn't about who was wealthy. It was about who was the most refined from inside, and who extended the greatest hospitality. And families' reputations really wrote on that, one generation after another. And they understood love, and they understood loyalty, and they were always, always, always rooted in their faith. Allah happened all. And they would always say, as, as, as I would go out the door, uh, my grandmother would say to me, you know, a lot, uh, uh, you know, a lot, uh, 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 yes, yes. Now I know it, I'm stuttering a little bit. <laughs> so this is why we have such a responsibility. That's why this evening, and when the cards went up and the auction took place, uh, that's what it all is. It's a wonderful, beautiful party, but it is, about us, and we do it because we know that if you wipe off the earth, a community whose ties date back to antiquity, that the world is the lesser for it. We do it because we're also Americans. We as Americans believe in the stirring words that everyone is entitled to the unalienable rights, chief among them, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. So the dollars, the dollars that um, are raised will go exactly toward that, to uphold the dignity that our people have always had. Our people are not takers, they are givers. We have had a stake in helping to build this country for how many generations now? And in every community where there is an Assyrian American community, they are respected for what they have done. In business and in industry, regardless of whatever it is, our people are respected. Uh, but this dates back. And so those that are still, those that are still uh, in the ancestral lands uh, need us now more than ever. And we do this because it is who we are. And it's what we've been taught. And we have a responsibility to do that. It's not just a kind thing to do. It's 
It's not just a Christian thing to do. It's not just a wonderful thing to do. It's not just makes you feel good to do. We have a responsibility, and it's a very serious one. I wish that there were 5,000 people here this evening, and there are more than 5,000 Syrian Americans that live throughout the Bay Area and in the Central Valley. And so I think that each one of us has to work harder to get the word out. And we also do this, obviously, uh, because they, another part of the world, are us. They are us. We are just as connected to them as each generation has been connected to one another. And again, we have the responsibility. So I think that this is um, extraordinary work. It's extraordinary because uh, for all the obvious reasons, but it's extraordinary because uh, people are in such great need. Uh, all you have to do is, uh, did, did you all look at the calendar that was given out? Did you see the faces of the children? I don't know about you, but they look just like my two children. They really do, you know? Shabbat and Shabbat. They really are. And, uh, uh, they, they deserve to know that there are people, uh, especially in this blessed land, that love them and care about them. But we know, because our faith instructs us, that if we do that, that God will reward each one of us a thousandfold. We are all God's children. We are one family. And certainly, for such a small ethnic group, but so distinguished from the earliest of times. Imagine being the earliest Christians. When I explain that uh, to my colleagues in the Congress, they are in awe of the, uh, of the story. Uh, they, they very typically think that, uh, that anyone who has ancestors that come, I need a hanky more than I need them. <laughs> Thank you very much. They very often for the most part think that everyone that uh, comes or has ancestors from the Middle East are, uh, are Arabs. Now we, you know, there's nothing wrong with Arabs. As I said, we're all God's children. But they have no appreciation, uh, very little understanding, but they are learning. Thank you now. 